is how the world normally sees Richard Wagner, a groundbreaking classical composer and a towering figure in German cultural history. Now he also comes a size smaller, as a sculpture just one meter tall, in an edition of 500. The Wagner dwarf was created by Nuremberg-based artist Ottmar Herl. Does his installation belittle the composer? This sculpture shows that you don't always have to look up to a genius. You can also look down at him. Not to despise him, but to develop this game for yourself. What the greatness of a work means, and what the man behind the work means. What he is and what he will remain. Just before Bayreuth's annual Wagner Festival opens, Ottmar Hörl and his team set up the rest of the figures in the park around the festival theatre. The mini Wagners seem to win the approval of visitors to the famous Green Hill as works of art, but also as a photo motif. Yes, very beautiful. <laughs> I won one in my garden when I come home. It emphasizes the link between Bayreuth and Richard Wagner. The figures are cast in plastic. A metal stand has to be screwed onto the bottom of each figure for it to stand up. The sculptures are for sale at 300 euros a piece. The artist says he didn't aim to create monuments, but rather art that anyone can participate in. Whether all human beings are unique is simply not an issue. Everyone is unique. But communicating uniqueness only works via multiplication. How does music come into existence? How does art come about? Ottmar Hörl is president of the Academy of Fine Arts in Nuremberg. His plastic sculptures have already caused quite a stir. He has previously set up hundreds of bears in front of the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin. Another installation comprised several thousand plastic hairs in Nuremberg, referencing a painting by Albrecht Dürer. And he positioned figures of Martin Luther around the church reformer's native Wittenberg. Now it's Richard Wagner's turn. The composer as conductor, for Ottmar Hörl, a symbol of Wagner's all-embracing artistic approach. Wagner saw drama, stage design, singing, every aspect of an opera as equally important. The other idea that occurred to me was how he made this city his own. In fact, Richard Wagner himself might well have been keen on Ottmar Hörl's latest installation. Violet was his favorite color. <laughs>